Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to do the uh, monthly cost of living here in the Philippines. This is for the month of March 2022. And a lot of people ask questions. So we don't pay rent because we own our house. Uh, I do not have medical insurance. I have money put back that if I need to, I can pay for it. Uh, because here in the Philippines, medical stuff is not that expensive. Uh, I had an MRI done on my back before, and it was only like $220 or something like that. So things here are not very expensive. So I hope nothing major ever happens and I don't need the medical insurance, but it's a gamble I'm taking. So, so <clears throat> for the month of March, our utilities cost us 10,865 pesos, which equals $209 approximately. Our food cost was 22,834 pesos, which is $447. And for three months now, the food cost has been pretty much exactly the same every month within 100 or 200 pesos. So it doesn't seem like we can get that to go down. And neither of us is going to change what we eat. <laughs> so, and seafood here is, is expensive on our island. Fish is expensive and all seafoods are expensive on this island. Not sure why when the water's right there. Like right there is the water. But all seafoods are expensive. Uh, next is household, which was a little bigger this month because we bought a, a transformer, a step-down transformer to go from 220 to 110 because we sent a... Uh, a bunch of uh, electrical appliances from the US kitchen stuff to use like air fryer microwave blenders mixers things like that so our household expense this month was 8,569 pesos or $170 and most of that was the step-down transformer because that was uh, about $130 <clears throat> medical dental and vision was $2,490 and that was mainly my uh, prescription stuff. So that was uh, or 2,490 pesos, which was $48. I think I said it wrong the first time. Now the bigger cost of one of us is uh, beer, because my wife likes to drink beer. So. You see my nose. <laughs> <laughs> so that was 17,650 pesos this month, or $346. I'm starting to think my wife might have a drinking problem. <laughs> but there was a little bit yes, of that. Yes, he does <laughs> have a problem. There was a little bit of that beer still left. So I'm still drinking some of that maybe. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> next is fuel. We didn't drive as much this past month. And uh, fuel prices went down a little bit. So the fuel was 8,889 pesos or $174. That was for diesel only, just for the truck. So, <clears throat> if you just wanted to live here like that, that's our total cost that we had to spend to live here. That equals 71,297 pesos, or 1,395 US dollars. But we have a lot more expenses than that. But that's all it would cost if you wanted to live here, which is still above People say you can live here for 800 to 1,000 uh, US dollars a month, and as far as I'm concerned, that's BS. I don't see how you could ever do it. Uh, so we have two puppies, <clears throat> and one of them we just bought this past month. So uh, their cost is 14,313 pesos with buying a puppy, which is 280 US dollars. Uh, and they, they eat well, they have a lot of toys, things like that, so. Now we also have a farm in a, a different area of this island. So, for the month of uh, March, the, a lot of sun came out and got hot and it's also trying to rain. Yeah. How crazy is that? <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> we should have brought a canopy. So, uh, the pig's food, uh, for our farm was 18,800 pesos, which equals $369. Our workers at the farm 
Uh, their pay is 7,000 pesos, which is $137. So that totals up and with all of our monthly expenses and our dogs and our farm is 111,410 pesos or 2,180 US dollars. Now we also uh, we're building a piggery onto the side of our house so when the pigs are ready to come from our farm in Sagbayan we can bring them down here and sell them. So <clears throat> we built a piggery on the side of the house and a storage unit underneath our terrace so I could store some tools and things like that. So for that the building materials cost us 33,731 pesos or 649 US dollars and the building labor 13,000 pesos or 250 US dollars. So just for the building that totaled 46,731 pesos or 899 US dollars. For a grand total of the month of March, 159,141 pesos or 3,079 US dollars, which is more than I ever figured it would cost us to live here per month because when I would watch the videos and they could say 800 to a thousand or 1200 US dollars per month to live here so I quadrupled the or sorry I tripled the low end and went 2400 hours a month to live here is what I originally estimated so we kind of blew that out of the water so I'm hoping there's not many more months where it costs us 3,000 US dollars to live here or else I'll be coming back to the US and getting a job again because I won't be able to live. And that's the bad thing with retiring early. So it's for the gamble you take though. And we didn't have to build anything if we didn't want to. So, and we're still building things. So next month our, our budget will probably be high again. But hopefully that'll be the end of it and then we can go back to normal. But we still cannot get below a thousand a month and I don't see us ever doing it. I think we're going to average, us personally, I think we'll average twelve to fifteen hundred every month. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom and we'll try and answer them the best we can. Uh, have a great day everybody. Bye.